Samurai threw away their katana and established shakuhachi music. So their concept of ma, the space between things, was probably very well honed and tempered. The space between swords was one of life and death. This certainly would have flowed into their music. Some say, just add some space in there however you want. It's free rhythm. But we should understand freedom to be something extraordinarily difficult. Again, if not seen this way, the music ends up being quite bland. The space players take between sounds can be just a single moment's difference. But Watazumi Sensei's sound would come with the expectation that that moment would be matched precisely. We would pause to insert a breath and then come in late. <clears throat> right there, Sensei's sound comes out in a flash, leaving us behind. Oh, that again, I would think to myself. Continuing on with our music theory series, Shomyo to Shakuhachi, we do the next crucial element of Japanese music, time and space. In the realm of art, culture, and everyday life, time holds a unique position as a universal constant, shaping the way we perceive and experience the world around us. Yet, in Japan, time takes on an added dimension, one intricately woven into the very fabric of being. This additional layer is encapsulated by the term ma, a concept that not only defines but elevates the Japanese perspective on time to a level of profound significance and, for many, confusion. Today, let's clarify and define ma in a semi-scholastic way to help develop a greater understanding and appreciation of Japanese art and music as a whole. In the Japanese language, ma encompasses a spectrum of meanings, from space and interval to pause and emptiness. However, its essence transcends mere linguistic definitions. It embodies a philosophy that infuses every aspect of Japanese life, including art, architecture, design, music, and even the act of conversation. At its core, Ma represents the art of embracing the spaces between moments, of finding value in the pauses, and of recognizing that in the emptiness, there lies beauty, resonance, and meaning. This concept is deeply rooted in Japanese aesthetics and has a profound impact on the perception of time and space. In this exploration, we will delve into the intricacies of Ma and its profound relationship with time. We will discover how Ma affects traditional Japanese music. Through this video, my hope is that you will come to appreciate that in the world of Ma, time is not merely a sequence of seconds, but a delicate dance of pauses and intervals, a rhythmic flow where meaning is not only found in the notes played, but in the spaces in between. As a side note before continuing on, for a deep cultural background and study on this concept, I recommend a book called The Japanese Culture of Ma, written by Takehiko Kenmochi. In it, he examines the Japanese societal views with a focus on Ma from the perspectives of life, culture, and art. Currently, this book is only available in Japanese, but I highly recommend it for those who have a solid grasp on the language. He writes this, For Japanese, the concept of ma is not nearly the description of the empty space or the situation of lacking something that is supposed to be there. It is the space that was created spontaneously because it was created by itself. It exists in our daily life as well as the essence of art. So what is it? Well, first we can start with the character itself and talk more about it through its pictogram. The Chinese character for Ma today looks like this. There are two components to the character, the first being the outside one, Mon, which means gate, and the next one, He, which means sun. But oddly enough, it wasn't always like that. It actually used to have this sign in the middle, Tsuki, which means moon. So the classical character was actually depicted like this. Imagine a full moon penetrating the middle crack between the two sliding doors of an entryway. This has a profound effect, as it fully expresses the two simultaneous components of a sense of place, the objective, given aspect, and the subjective, felt aspect. Gunter continues in his article, Ma, Place, Space, Void, translates the word Ma and space in a way which I quite like. He stresses that sense of place does not negate an objective awareness of the static or homogeneous quality of top topological space, rather it infuses the objective space with an additional subjective awareness of lived, existential, non-homogeneous space. It also incorporates a recognition of the activities which take place in a particular space, 
and different meanings a place might have for various individuals or cultures. Physical appearance, activities, and meanings are the raw material of the identity of places. But this definition of Ma for our uses is a general one for all types of Ma. This includes the one-dimensional domain, uh, domain of line, the two-dimensional flat plane, and especially the three-dimensional realm which incorporates the idea of kukan, empty space or void. Gunther notes this on his third dimension. Today, ku is used for empty in the simple physical sense, and for void in the Buddhist metaphysical view. The compound kukan for physical and void in Buddhist metaphysics, the compound kukan is of recent origin. It was coined to express the concept of three-dimensional objective space, which was imported from the West, for which the Japanese language had no other word of its own. The Western concept was, and still is, inherently static and unchanging, without any dynamic sense of variation or human subjectivity. It is merely three-dimensional. We can also look at the fourth dimension, which is time according to physicists. This is exactly where we need to be, so we won't get into higher dimensional objects like hypercubes or pentaracts. Sorry, mathematicians. In her master's thesis, Morista Chikako opens up with two quotes, the first by musician Satsuki Odamura. Ma is an immeasurable space-time where two worlds cross. In this space lies an experience beyond the boundaries of sound and silence instruments and performers, physicality and sensibility, in the transcendent aspect of the musical performance. The second by Richard Pilgrim, who is an expert on religion and art in Japan. Such experimental places evoke by their very nature a sense of reality characterized by dynamic, active, changing, poetic immediacy instead of being merely objective or subjective. It is an opening or emptying of oneself into the immediacy of the ever-changing moment beyond distinctions and in between the this and that world. It is a world in between subject and object. Let's digest this a little bit. It is very abstract, but I will try to do my best to distill it. Firstly, it is an abstract time with an unspecif unspecified duration and with no beginning or end. Okay, that didn't work. Here, here's another way of looking at it. In the Japan, in Japanese, the character ma is also pronounced toki. It is thought that the old verb toku has a relationship with ma, meaning to melt or to dissolve. And this is a great way of expressing the dimension of time in Japanese, that space is dissolving away or melting away. Between the two quotes, and my best attempt at simplifying it, you can see that Ma is pregnant with both the objective and subjective. In addition, we also look at two ideas of space and time as separate entities, where in Japanese traditional thought, this was not the case. Pilgrim quotes Isozaki, stating, While in the West the space-time concept gave rise to absolutely fixed images of a homogeneous and infinite continuum, as presented in Descartes, in Japan, space and time were never fully separated, but were conceived as correlative and omnipresent. Space could not be perceived independently of the element of time, and time was not abstracted as a regulated, homogeneous flow, but rather was believed to exist only in the relation to moments or space. Thus, space was perceived as identical with the events or phenomena occurring in it, that is, space was recognized only in its relation to time flow. But I want to postulate this key point, that the space that we are speaking of does not contain value in an aesthetic or artistic sense unless it is filled with motion. But why is this space so important to Japanese thought and aesthetic sensibility? Why must it be surrounded by motion, design, noise, and the likes? Isozaki notes this when perceiving space. Space was thought of as void, like the vacant holy zone and even concrete objects were thought to be void within. Kami were believed to descend to fill these voids with spiritual force, chi. Perceiving the instant at which this occurred became decisively important for all artistic endeavors. Space was perceived as identical with events or phenomena occurring in it, that is, space was perceived only in relation to time flow. So it isn't something that isn't there, but the fact that there is, in fact, a kept spiritual sense of the kami that occupies these spaces. 
So, these actions that take place musically are invitations for actions to take place from the kami, to the performer, to the listener, in turn experiencing the divine through the mediation of ma. In the paper, The Concept of Ma in the Music of Takamitsu by Jonathan Lee Shinette, he notes this, quoting Takamitsu, What I want to do is not to put sounds in motion towards a goal by controlling them. Rather, I would prefer to let them be free, if possible, without controlling them. For me, it would be enough to gather the sounds around me and then gently put them in motion. To move the sounds around the way you drive a car is the worst thing you can do with them. Takamitsu is expressing here a desire to allow sounds to unfold organically, rather than with, with rigid control or manipulation towards a predetermined goal, which is, a co which is common within the Western musical paradigm. Instead of forcefully directing the sounds as one might drive a car, as he states, he envisions a more gentle and free process. The process is to gather the sounds in his environment and then allow them to go in their own motion, letting them, the sounds evolve naturally without imposing a predetermined or systematic destination. This philosophy emphasizes a more intuitive and free-flowing relationship with sound, prioritizing the exploration and expression of the inherent qualities of each sound rather than molding them towards a preconceived outcome. This ties us nicely between our previous video on tone color and of our current topic of time and space. Ma in Gagaku and No now that we have established and identified ma as a general concept, which, albeit incomplete and only surface level, let us now go on to gagaku and no to help us understand the usage of ma in these two classical genres. It would be intellectually and scholastically dishonest to not take the ma out to see what the scholars on gagaku have to say about time. After all, they are masters of ma. That sounds like a good uh, superhero script spinoff. Allison McQueen Tokita and David W. Hughes notes this when identifying ma. Ma literally means a space or interval between two points, in space or time. It is used in the spatial discourse of painting and architecture, but in music it refers to rhythm. In nagauta, uki, uki ma implies a slight lengthening of the first of a pair of beats, while tsume ma implies the reverse. Or timing. Many dancers say that with the Kiyomoto narrative music, ma ga torinikui, it is difficult to get the rhythm or timing right. Or beat, omote ma, is downbeat and urama is upbeat. In its sense as timing, it indicates the space between sounds, the optimum length of a pause that provides maximum effect to either sound or movement. In this sense, it is a crucial concept and technique for dancers, actors, and percussionists in particular, one no, one no performers, called it akuma no ma, the devil's ma. It is this meaning of timing that has become mystified as something which cannot be explained to the outsider, especially the non-Japanese outsider, and has conversely been the object of fascination by outsiders who invoke it as a unique aesthetic to explain otherwise inexplic inexplicable aspects of Japanese performing arts. But let's not just take it from the scholars of today, but rather let's take a look at one of the greatest Japanese thinkers and artists in history, Zayami and his work Kakyo. Kakyo is a transmission document that Zayami wrote over a period of 20 years, starting when he was around 40 years old, passing on the wisdom and uh, the art that he had attained in stages. It was transmitted to his son, Motoyoshi. Originally, it was titled Kashu. The treaty was reorganized under the title Kakyo by the year 1421, and its final form was established in 1424. The content being with the method of vocalization called Icho, Nikki, Sansei. First, pitch. Second, key. Third, voice. And includes teachings on mimicry and the use of body in performance theory and various discussions on directing art artistic positions and practice. There are many interesting contents such as Riken no Ken, objective observation of one's own performance, and the concept of Man no Ishinjiko, connecting everything with one mind during intentional inactivity, and it is highly praised alongside Kaden as a valuable piece of Zayami no theater theory. In Zayami's teaching of Ma, he describes it not merely as an empty space, but a dynamic and pregnant pause that carries profound aesthetic. 
Zayami emphasizes that these pauses are essential for creating a sense of beauty, mystery, and depth in Noel theater. The timing and quality of Ma are crucial for allowing the audience to reflect, experience heightened emotional states, and engage with the unfolding drama on a deeper level. Zayami encourages actors to embrace Ma by being mindful of the spaces between movements, lines, and expressions. He sees these intervals as opportunities for the audience to perceive the spiritual and emotional re resonance within the performance. The intentional use of Ma contributes to the overall aesthetic harmony and impact of the No play. To tie this concept of Ma, let's go with one more famous writer many years before Zayami, one of Japan's most famous poets and novelists, Murasaki Shikibu, and her most famous writing is The Tale of Genji, but she wrote many poems and letters to friends which contain profound beauty and wonderful examples of Ma. Meguri aite, mishi yasore tomo, wakaranu ma ni kumo ga kure nishi, yo wa no Tsuki Kage, encountering you after such a long time, was it really you, or did I not realize it in the passing moments? Like the moon hidden by clouds, my dear friend too, distanced herself from me in midnight shadows. This is the opening verse in Murasaki Shikibu Shu, and one can imagine it held significant importance for Murasaki Shikibu. It expresses the emotions of meeting a childhood friend after a long time, the kind of friend referred to as douyu, as childhood friend. The imagery of comparing the moon to the friend's face, quickly obscured or hidden, suggests a brief encounter during the night. The uncertainty of whether it was truly you may indicate that the friend had changed significantly over time. In a verse that evokes a sense of contemplating the passage of time, here the poem captures the essence of Ma in several ways. Firstly, the poem reflects on the passage of time and great gaps between meetings. The long time that has passed between encounters creates a, a kind of temporal Ma. An emptiness or silence filled with the unspoken experiences and changes that occurred during set the separation. Secondly, the uncertainty in recognizing the friend after a long time contributes to a sense of ambiguity of Ma. The poet questions whether it was really the friend, emphasizing the gaps in understanding or recognition. Lastly, the comparison of the friend to the moon hidden by clouds implies a momentary emptiness or distance. The moon, a common motif in Japanese poetry, often symbolizes beauty and trans transience. The obscured moons create a space for reflection on the fleeting nature of the encounter. Now, let's take a look from another perspective, modern composer and gagaku musician Chatori Shimizu. He writes in his article composing for Sho on time identity as the following. Sho in gagaku music embraces a very unique time identity. Haya in Hayayo Hyoshi can be understood as the equivalent of 4-4 in the Western music time signature. However, this should not be understood in the metronomic sense as the beat in Gagaku fluctuates. In Eiten Raku, performers execute the Teutsuri and Kigae during the time between the fourth beat and on the first beat, making the fourth beat non-metric and stretched. This unique time identity is not notated on the Gagaku score and is also extremely difficult or nearly impossible to describe the Western 5-9 line notation system. And this is what makes the For the Show player a, such a prominent key figure in the Gagaku ensemble. They are the backing and support for when the next phrase occurs. It is also important to note that not all instruments will be in four. Some pieces will have the ryuteki, dragon flute, playing a six-beat phrase, while the hichidiki is playing a four-beat phrase. Meanwhile, the show is providing the harmonic landscape for this melodic dance. Each are doing their own thing, but they are related. Think of it this way, you are on a four-way highway and each are going the same direction, but not necessarily taking the same way to get to the same place. Thus, each player stays in their lane. He continues. I interviewed Hitomi Nakamura, a prominent hichiriki performer based in Tokyo, and on the topic of notation of gagaku instruments in today's compositions. She said she has never encountered a Western notation-based score for gagaku instruments that gives attention to the unique time identity of gagaku music. 
Quote, I have never seen a Western style score that successfully notates the natural changing lengths of the beats as seen in Gagaku music. Nakamura continues, I have seen scores with repetitive markings of accelerando and retardando in short spans, but I did not feel as though the piece consciously revived the, I- the time identity of Gagaku. I have, for however, received comments verbally from composers that they would prefer the beats to shrink and expand as it does in Gagaku. Even if we performers are not advised to do so, I believe that there are many instances where we unconsciously expand the beat as we are used to doing it in Gagaku. Chatori Shimizu and Hitomi Nakamura's insights shed light on the intricate challenge of notating the unique time identity of Gagaku music within the Western framework. The elusive quality of fluctuating pulses absent from conventional scores underscores the difficulty in translating this essence. Despite composers expressing the desire for dynamic beat variation, the essence of Gagaku's temporal nuance remains a nuanced and uncharted territory in Western notation. The verbal exchange between performers and composers hints at a shared aspiration to capture the essence, even if the notation falls short in encapsulating the organic rhythm of Gagaku. Another point to mention in passing is the concept of uchi awase in no and Gagaku. During one of my conversations with Laron Harrison, Gagaku performer and independent scholar, he noted to me that there is a constant sense of anticipation because the music is also learned separately by different people. The keen awareness of rhythm is important because not all of the detailed rhythms are present in the scores, but the musicians and actors react to the ma of kakigoe, the shouts and percussive hits. Within the world of Gagaku, the internalized sense of rhythm that needs to be matched between other players is the important part of Uchiawase. As for Shomyo, this is clear in large groups of monks chanting the same work, in Hitoyogiri found in the chamber music and playing classical tunes with another, and the same goes for Shakahachi when playing a Jiuta or Sankyoku work and or in a classical Honkyoku or duet work. Ma in Shomyo, Hitoyogiri, and Shakahachi. It goes without saying that within our three disciplines, Ma plays a crucial, important role. It's a fundamental and profound concept that influences the performance, uh, performer's inter- uh, interpretation and overall aesthetic of this traditional music. Since Ma has been ge- expressed as a holy and or having some connection with the divinity, let me give you seven points of Ma in relation to Shomyo, Hitoyogiri, and Shakohachi. 1. As stated before, but worth repeating, Ma refers to the art of embracing the temporal spaces or intervals between notes and phrases. These spaces are not mere pauses, but integral to the music, music's rhythm, rhythmic structure and emotional expression. Riley and Lee notes further in his thesis, The notion of Ma is one of the most pervasive and important concepts of Japanese art. 2. Breathing and Phrasing Ma in our music is closely tied to the performer's breath. It, if, it emphasizes the significance of breath control, and the spaces between breaths play a crucial role in shaping the music's rhythm and phrasing. Performers use the breath to create a nuanced sense of ma by controlling the length and strength of individual notes and the pauses between them. Riley Lee also notes this, The timing of the breaths in Honkyoku are not subservient to the sound elements of the music. All phrases in Koten Honkyoku must be performed in a single breath. The breathing always occurs between the phrases, as there is no set rhythmic pulse or beat to adhere to. The breaths between each phrases need not fit within a set space or time. In fact, the time allowed for taking any given breath is, in a sense, predetermined by the preceding and subsequent phrases under the concept of zettai no ma. Number 3. Emotional Expression Ma in our music allows for profound emotional expression. The pauses and silences enable the performer to convey a wide range of feelings and moods, from introspection and contemplation to tension and release. Whereas in Western music there is a tension and release harmonically, I think it would be a good start, starting point to consider the relationship as equal to the Japanese sensibility of Ma. Where in the West we have the dominant tonic, Japan has Ma, the ebb and flow between the mundane and the divine. That being said, the concept of ma enables the shakachi, hitoyogiri player, and shoumyoka to, in, com- to communicate emotions that may be difficult to express solely through notes and melodies, but rather in the evanescence of notes. Number 4. 
Ma adds a layer of aesthetic beauty to our discipline's music. The spaces between notes and breaths are often considered as essential as those notes themselves. This emphasizes uh, this emph emphasis on space and silence contributes to the overall elegance and depth of the music. To give another perspective on this aesthetic beauty, let's listen to these words from Gunter Nischke. A blank surface of sand in front of a Buddhist temple, or an empty sheet of white paper in Zen painting is not enough to trigger this insight. Architecture, gardening, painting, or poetry, that is some highly sophisticated setting of form and non-form, is necessary to experience the void in the above sense. Only a poet can put this paradox into words. I dive down into the depths of the ocean of forms, hoping to game the perfect pearl of the formless. Number 5. Improvisation and Interpretation In Shakuhachi, Hitayogiri, and Shomyo alike, the music allows for imp improvisation and individual interpretation. Let me elucidate a little more. The concept of Ma gives performers the creative freedom to explore the shape of the music's pacing, dynamics, and emotions within a framework of traditional pieces. Ergo, individuality and self-expression can be obtained. 6. Quoting from Takamitsu, Nature must be a part of music as it is a part of the Japanese house. In the West, you build houses with walls separate from your nature. You cut windows in rooms and see nature's like painting in a frame. That is wrong. In addition to our focused musical disciplines, Many of them often draw inspiration from nature, and ma is seen as a way to mimic the natural rhythms and sounds of the world. The pauses and breaths in the music can evoke the tranquility of wind through bamboo, the gentle flow of a stream, or the rustling of leaves. It can also be a current of wind thrashing and smashing the bamboo together, and heavy waterfalls slamming against jagged rocks at the bottom of the falls. And lastly, number seven, the spiritual and meditative aspects. The concept of Ma and these musics is closely associated with Buddhism and meditation. The pauses and silence in the music create moments for reflection and a deep sense of mindfulness contributing to its spiritual dimensions. In the final analysis, Ma in these musics represents the art of using temporal spaces, breathing control, emotional expression to create a unique and gripping musical experience. It is an integral part of the aesthetics and philosophy of performance. Japanese musical notation in Shomyo, Hitayogiri, and Shakuhachi. The musical notation traditions of Shomyo, Hitayogiri, and Shakuhachi share a common thread in their musical scores, where both rhythmic and non-rhythmic elements are coalesced to create a unique, expressive platform for the performer. This synthesis allows individuals to navigate within the rhythmic framework, fostering a balance between precision and personal expression. The majority of Shomyo, Hitoyogiri, and Shakachi music scores lean towards the non-rhythmic, granting performers the freedom to articulate their emotions and interpretations. An insight into Hitoyogiri is provided by an author of a manual who adv advises precision in fingerings while cautioning against being confined to a rigid rhythmic structures. Quote, be careful with your fingers, but don't get stuck in your rhythm. Upon examining the musical scores of Shomyo, Hitoyogiri, and Shakuhachi, it becomes evident that while each note is adorned with expressive detail and shapes, the deliberate omission of explicit rhythmic notation allows for a more fluid and subjective interpretation. The intentional absence of a strict rhythmic framework empowers musicians to immerse themselves in the emotional nuances of the composition, by emphasizing precision in execution without fixating on a predefined rhythm. Unlike conventional musical scores in the West that meticulously detail rhythmic elements, these Japanese scores prioritize expressive detail and color. This deliberate omission invites performers to delve into the emo emotive aspects of each note, fostering a connection between the musician and the essence of the composition. Interestingly enough, in many of the Takamitsu works that I have both performed and studied, he implements highly complex rhythmic systems in his music to obscure the sense of stagnant pulse in his compositional voice. If you were to meticulously note a Japanese traditional musical work in five-line notation without a shifting pulse, I would say that it would bear a close resemblance to Takamitsu's rhythmic landscape. That being said, the absence of rigid rhythmic constraints serves to facilitate a more personal and nuanced interpretation of the music. 
Performers are encouraged to explore the depths of emotion, ex emotional expression within each note, unburdened by the constraints of predefined rhythmic patterns. Therefore, by contributing to the unique character of Shomyo, Hideyogiri, and Shakachibi performances by each person. The transmission of rhythm in musical traditions is not solely confined to written notation. A significant aspect involves aural dimensions. In the context of Shomyo, Hitiyogiri, and Shakachi, many times rhythm is imparted through aural traditions involving listening and imitation. Through this method, learners absorb the subtleties of rhythmic patterns, accents, and phrasing directly from experienced practitioners, fostering a deeper understanding of the nuanced rhythmic elements inherent in the music. This immersive approach contributes to a more holistic musical education, emphasizing the symbiotic relationship between theory and practice. Conclusion In, in the conclusion of Kakyo, there is a phrase that Zayami uses to underpin his thoughts on teaching. Zayami's shoshin refers to the immature skill of youth and the initial stages of artistic development at each age. He continuously reiterates this to his reader, that one should not forget this shoshin, and as he writes, shoshin, fuka wasurenu, to say, measure to strive for improvement in their art. Zayami divides this teaching into three parts. The first, he says, by all means, do not forget the initial stages. Not forgetting the early and experienced skill from youth helps individuals better appreciate and recognize their current and enhanced abilities. Then he, his next point is, from time to time, do not forget the initial stages. By recalling the earlier phases of artistic growth at different stages of life, from youth to old, individuals can develop a diverse set of artistic skills. Lastly, he concludes with, even in old age, do not forget the initial stages. He stresses the significance of acquiring artistic skills suitable for old age and consistently working towards improvement all while remembering the foundational stages. Ma, in my estimation, is one of the foundational aspects of music that we must consider as we continue to study and develop our relationship with this unique syntax, that being music. In conclusion of this video, it is abundantly evident that the concept of Ma extends far beyond a mere pause or interval, rather it encapsulates a profound philosophy that shapes the essence of various art forms and cultural expressions. In exploring the notion of ma, we've delved into the richness of its meanings, ranging from the spatial and temporal pauses in architecture and design to the intentional silences within music. Ma serves as a reminder that in the midst of rapid modernization and constant stimuli, that there is value in the spaces in between, in the moments of reflection and restraint. It encourages us to appreciate the beauty of emptiness the significance in the pause, and the harmony that arises from the thoughtful arrangement of elements. Ultimately, Ma reminds us to find balance and meaning in our space, rendering a deeper connection with the world around us. As a final note, Shoshin Fuka Wasurenu. See you next time.